Hello everybody, welcome to part 44 of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last part, we performed a little witchcraft, we wandered into the pyramid, we attacked hieroglyphs that jumped right off of their walls and used Psy on us, and we defeated an ancient general, as in a war general, because apparently they used to have a lot of wars in ancient Egypt. Or I should say Scaraba, not Egypt. There is no such thing as Egypt in this game, there's only Scaraba, right? But anyway, defeating the general opened this hole beneath this mummy, this creepy mummy with these creepy red eyes. So let's go into the hole, shall we? Because holes are always fun to jump into, because that's why moles love doing it, and we have a guardian hieroglyph to fight first. Wow, Peach's side magnet is coming in real handy. It's just so handy to keep draining PP from those guardian hieroglyphs. But this thing right here is what we came into this dungeon for. This is something on the platform. Well, that's a self-explanatory, right? Do you want to get it? Well, of course, that's what we came here for. And it is a Hawkeye. This Hawkeye will be vitally important for proceeding through the next section of the game. Well, not the next section of the game, but the next next section of the game, I should say. But anyway, this next section up here is, is going to be pretty tough, but first we have these hieroglyphs to fight. And Luigi leveled up, but he didn't even gain any IQ points. How lame is that? Oh well, at least Peach is being able to recover some pretty good PP with these side attacks. And hey, we have a magic butterfly, but first we have... Okay, we do get to recover PP first. That's nice, because we wasted quite a bit of it in attacking all these stupid enemies. Well, Luigi's slime generator usually works on those enemies, but it didn't this time, so Peach caught a cold and now Mario has to heal her. Well, gee... What's in this casket? That's it, I believe, will be something else important. It's a diamond band, which I think everybody already has, right? Diamond band, diamond band, diamond band, di and Bracer of Kings, of course, because Toad cannot equip the diamond band because he is too special. But I think we still have the four sale signs, so let's just sell this thing. And for some reason, of course, a customer will will buy this diamond band and head all the way to this pyramid in order just, uh, just to buy this item from us. So that's kind of weird. And why did I intend to go back into this room? And hey, we get another magic butterfly. That's at least nice. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this room is that if we keep coming back into this room, a magic butterfly will just keep appearing. And will a customer ever, ever come? Or will we just be forced to wander around these, this place until, until the end of time, essentially? Will a customer come? Are there any customers coming? I don't see any customers. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't sell the diamond band just yet. And uh, there's no magic butterfly in here again. I guess we only get to use it twice or something. I don't know. But let's fall down this hole. And I believe once we fall down... Ah! Who's calling me? There are a bunch of enemies all around me. And who in the frick is calling me? Uh, I saw your sign. I thought I should stop and buy something. I tried to try to find it. Oh, I see. It's a customer. It's a customer. I answer the phone all for a customer. That is that is just lame. That is really lame. But I guess uh, but I guess I could totally understand. I could understand if a customer didn't want to come down here and if a customer didn't want to come down here and get past all these really tough looking enemies, right? But I don't know. Let's just have. Peach used PK Freeze on some of these enemies. I don't really know what else to do, and yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have Toad use a shield, I guess. Let's see how this works. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Shield Sigma seems to be useful so far. Let's see what the Hungry HP Sucker does. Oh good, he recovered a lot of HP from that. And PK Flash didn't work. And the Fear Shattered Man attacked Mario anyway. What am I gonna do now? I don't know. Let's see what PK Freeze does to the Fear Shattered Man. I'm sounding really boring in this part, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just kind of attacking everybody with random attacks. But usually, uh, against the Guardian Hieroglyphs, usually the Slime Generator is a good thing to use. That usually solidifies it. But the last time I fought it, it didn't even do much, and ouch, that hurt. Ouch, that hurt. That did a lot of damage to Peach. I don't know why it did that much damage to Peach, but we'll have to life up her now. Why do we keep having to life up Peach? This is totally not fair. Let's get rid of this Fear Shattered Man before it does that again, or at least I think it was a uh, Maybe it wasn't the Fear Shattered Man, maybe it was the Petrified Royal Guard that did that. But yikes, Peach only has 7 HP left. That is not good at all. But thankfully Peach's HP is back to normal. 
imagine 214. These, these, these enemies do a lot of damage. And I guess that shield just didn't do anything at all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be aware of that next time. Uh, can, we, can we defeat this thing already? Seriously? Seriously? Thank you, Luigi, for defeating it, but now we're gonna have to life up you because you do not have a lot of HP left. And we got a mummy wrap, which is good because we lost one. I think in an earlier battle, we tried to use it against the ancient guardian or, or whatever that thing was called, but it failed for some weird reason because apparently mummy wraps do not work on mummies. Are these enemies? Yes, they are. That's funny, at the beginning of that battle, it said the lethal-ass pyroglyph came after you, but it didn't come after me, it, we came after it. Same thing with this guardian hieroglyph here. But anyway, this is what I typically like to do to the guardian hieroglyphs. I like to have Peach use Psy Magnet on it to recover some PP. I like to have Luigi use a slime generator and Toad just attack. So let's see if this usual strategy works this time around. So Peach drained about 4 PP, not too bad, and her slime generator again just didn't work. That's kind of weird. And yikes, that did 163 HP of damage. Why do we keep having to life up Luigi? But I'll have Toad do it this time, just because he has more offense. <sighs> this is such a pain. This is just such a pain. Now I gotta have him use life up Alpha. I don't want him to waste too much, too much PP. I never covered 108 HP anyway. <sighs> Well, the slide generator worked for a while, but I guess it just stopped working all of a sudden. That's not good. But oh well, let's go into this room and see what's in here. Is it a way out, perhaps? No, it's another hieroglyph. And again, the gu guardian hieroglyph hit itself by trying to attack Mario. Thanks to the Franklin badge, of course. Let's fight more of these hieroglyphs. And even more hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. I think I've seen way too many of them. My eyes hurt from trying to read all these stupid hieroglyphs. You know, I think hieroglyphs were created by the ancient scarabins to curse us with their, with their words and scriptures and esoteric meanings and ugh. But finally, we are out of this place and there is a tornado thing? Well done! You have made it! And why am I speaking with an accent, you ask? Oh, he healed our party, that's nice. We finally meet Prince Toad. Oh! The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now it is the time to show you the way and the star storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. What? Toad's leaving us? What? You're, you're gonna kidnap Toad? We won't let this creepy old idiot guy to keep to qu kidnap Toad, right? Okay, I'm kidding. He's actually gonna do- he's actually gonna do something really awesome to Toad. He's about to teach him this technique- this spoof- this super special star- star storm technique, whatever that means. And those of you who are familiar with Super Smash Brothers know exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about PK star storm, which is Ness's final smash technique, actually, which is strange because he never learns that technique in the game. Instead, it's Pooh who learns- who learns it, of all people. Pooh, of course, being Toad, which is what I decided to name him in this game. But now he's about to kidnap Toad. I should—I don't know why I'm saying kidnap, but he's about to te teach Toad this powerful PK Star Storm technique. So that should be really awesome once he comes back, but for now, he's going to go away. It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Mario. Trust me, I will see you again. And... It depends on Toad's effort. That will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and await until time come. And he teleports away. I assume that is a tornado teleport because he flies away in a tornado. Okay, I'm kidding. What is this enemy? Oh my gosh, what is this enemy? I didn't expect to encounter this enemy. Oh, it's a Marauder Octobot. You gotta beware of these things because they have Marauder in the name and likewise they steal things from us. They steal things from us. That is totally not cool. But now Toad is out of our party, so we're not going to be able to get all the important stuff that he had. Who has a Hawkeye, out of curiosity? Well, I'm going to check that later. I hope Toad didn't have the Hawkeye, because that would totally not be cool, because he... Because he would have run away with it. But let's just keep attacking it and hope and hope that it that the Marauder Octobot doesn't steal anything from us. So far, it's just attacking us, and it was scrapped already, so that wasn't too hard. If Toad was still here, we could have used his PK Thunder, but I think Peach knows that too. And I think the Marauder Octobot is weak to Thunder, as most robots are. Do we still have our Hawkeye? Yes, we do. Mario has it. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. What does this guy have to say? I'm not sure if it was the Dungeon Man, but there was a strange-looking tower to the northwest. Oh, this part. 
This key I picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower. You may have it, I do not need it. But it seems that you have too many things- Oh, I have to get rid of something in the inventory. What am I gonna get rid of, eh? Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of... Oh, I was gonna use the for sale sign to sell the crystal charm. Yeah, I gotta do that, because I was gonna sell that. And also the diamond bat that I had, too. There are actually two things I could sell. <laughs> this is gonna take too long. A lot of things take too long in this game. I don't care. Just take my money and go. I mean, just give me your money and go. Give me your money. Money, money, money. I gotta do that again because I want to sell the diamond band. And thankfully, in this part, a customer will actually head this way because there are not any enemies in the way. Da 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 da. Yeah, we have two diamond bands. Too many diamond bands. Four th almost five thousand dollars. That's nice. He gives us a lot of money for those diamond bands. But then again, we paid like almost ten thousand dollars for them in summers. I think it was. What does this guy with the camel have to say? Since I'm dealing, it's a pretty rough stuff. I can't run my business in town. Oh, it's a shop. We could have just sold our items here. But here we have a French fry pan, which is a an, a a power up a, a powered up frying pan for Peach, which is good because she currently doesn't have a lot of offense. So that'll be good. We'll sell the old equipment. Let's see what else we can buy. We got a crusher beam, which Luigi doesn't need because he has the spectrum beam. We have a multi-bottle rocket, which is a more powerful version of a rocket. We have a bazooka, which Luigi already has a broken one, and once he fixes it, it'll become an even more awesome bazooka than this one. We have bottles of DX water. We have beef jerkies. We have secret herbs. I think really too special. I'm gonna buy a bottle of DX water. Actually, I'm not because Toad's in the it isn't in the party, so <laughs> that won't even be important. Because Toad's the one who will recover the most HP from that, and we have more of Marauder Octobots on it. Well, that's good. We still didn't get our items stolen. I could swear that that the Marauder Octobots steal our items, but maybe I was wrong. But here we have a couple of more enemies. We have a beautiful UFO, and we have a high-class UFO. The high-class UFO we already saw, that was in the northern desert in Scaraba, but this beautiful UFO is new, but it's not really too different from the high-class UFO, so I, th I don't think these should be too much of a problem. In fact, I'll try to hit these things with PK Thunder, because I think that's what they're weak against. The Marauder Octobot, it turns out, is not weak against PK Thunder, it's actually weak against PK Fire, oddly enough. And hey, that one actually hit, but only one Thunderbolt hits, so that's not good. Am I gonna have to have Luigi use a hungry HP sucker on this next turn? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't know. I can't think of anything to say while this battle is going on. I don't know why. Why does everybody attacking Luigi? It's a good thing he's using the hungry HP sucker, because he desperately needs that to recover HP, and he only recovered 45... Oh, it has a shield, that's why. Oh, in that case, I'll have to life up Luigi, and I'll have to have him use the neutralizer. <laughs> I forgot about the shield these things have. That's why we didn't do too many... Oh, great, and if, if they don't life up, that's just great. That... <sighs> okay. Da, 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 da. So if that high-class UFO has a shield it doesn't have it anymore, I don't even know what to say at this point, and I've said that a bunch of times. Let's life up, life up Peach and get the heck out of here, hopefully. I'm just kind of mashing the A button at this point. Okay. Now that we got those UFOs out of the way, let's head up toward that mysterious dungeon man. And we have a Bible Serum, that's good, that'll help us recover status. <laughs> life up time. And since Toad's no longer in our party, we only have one healer, let's attack another... Octobot. And Luigi keeps needing to be lifed up. I don't know why that is. Anyway, let's go into the dungeon, man, now that I think we finally have the key. Do we actually have a key in here, or is that just a fluke? I don't even know. Well, anyway, let's see if we can enter. Looks like you could enter, but it's locked. It's locked? It's locked? It's locked? Okay, who has Sunstroke? Oh yeah, Peach has Sunstroke. I need to cure that. But it appears we did not have the key to the dungeon. What happens if we talk to that guy that we apparently got the key from? <laughs> it was this guy down here, wasn't it? I'm not sure if it was the dungeon man, blah 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 blah. Oh, I see! We did we couldn't pick it up last time because because we had too much space. We had too many items in our, in our inventory. Duh! 
And Luigi just got to level 50. I wasn't aware that his, that his level was even that high. And once again, we need to life up Peach. But let's see if we can enter the Dungeon Man now. We should be able to at this point, but let's find another Octobot. And Mario just got to level 56. Everybody's just getting levels all over the place. Oh yeah, we actually need to use the dungeon key or whatever that was. The key to the tower, that's what we need to use, and that's the last item in our inventory. Since we have only three people in our party, and we, uh, screensaver activating, stupid screensaver. But this dungeon is awesome! Listen to this music. I actually featured this music in my, in my top 20 Earthbound and Mother series list. attacked by presence! Oh my gosh, I was enjoying listening to this music and all of a sudden I'm being attacked by presence and uh-oh. These look almost exactly like the enemies that we saw in, in the Foresight department store. This is not good. Well, let's attack the Scalding Coffee Cup first because it does the most amount of damage. And I'll have Luigi use his trusty hungry HP sucker. Oh! Wow! That actually did quite a bit of damage! Actually, these look like the exact same enemies that appeared in the department store. So if these are the exact same enemies, since we're at a much higher level than we were in the department store, then this is actually going to be to our advantage. But let's attack another one, I guess. And we snuck about on it from behind, whatever it was, and we gained free experience, so I don't even know what it was, and it was only six experience anyway. But the this is perhaps my most favorite dungeon of the series. The enemies in it are easy, the music is awesome, they're very liberal with the healing. Let's see what these signs say. Welcome, you are inside of my body. Brick Road, yes, this is the same person who designed the maze in Winters. This dungeon is brilliant. And now you may recall when we were back in Winters, we... We heard that Brick Road was trying to fuse himself with Dr. Andernut's technology to become Dungeon Man. By now, he has achieved his dream. He is Dungeon Man, and we are inside of him. My statistics show about 70% of people go to the right first. 70% of people. Shall we be one of those 70% of people, or should we go to the left first? I actually think it'll be more to our advantage to go to the left, because first of all, we have a phone where we can save our game. So that'll be useful. And since I have to stop the video soon, that'll actually be very useful. And second of all, we also have healing places off to the left as well, so that'll be really nice. So, with that, I think it's time to stop the video. We're basically at the end. There's not really that much... There's really not that much more we could do. There's an ATM. There's a healing place right here. Actually, let's see if Luigi will fix that broken bazooka right now. I don't want to see a hospital. I want to stay the night. Can we stay the night? No, I don't want to be examined. Come on, can I... Hmm... Blah, 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 A Dr. Renner- <laughs> It's a Dungeon Master's obligation to hire Dr. Renner. Oh, I see. We have to talk to the bench for some reason to stay the night. That's kind of weird. We get a good night bench. Let's see if Luigi will fix the bazooka. I guess not. I guess he doesn't fix it until he has an even higher IQ than I thought. But anyway, it's time to stop the video, so thank you everybody for watching. And the next part of Let's Play Earthbound, and I'm going to save the game just for the heck of it, we will explore Dungeon Man and see just how awesome it is. So I'll see you guys later.